Playing a football game without practicing is like taking a test without studying. The Patriots are doing the best they can, but game day is fast approaching, but it could be moved back a day. Maury Hirschgordon now tracking the breaking news right now live from Foxborough. Maury? Yanni, within the last half hour, we've got breaking news about this upcoming Sunday game against the Broncos for the Patriots. Mike Kliss of Nine News in Denver, who covers the Broncos there, is reporting that the game is being pushed back a day. This is now a second straight week. The Patriots will be playing Monday night football. The scheduled kickoff for Monday now is a little after 7 o'clock. This is all due to the positive COVID tests from the New England Patriots. Albert Breer of the Monday Morning Quarterback reporting that the team will now keep its facility closed on Friday. Pending all negative test results, they'll then reconvene for their only practice of the week on Saturday. Until then, the team will continue to prepare virtually. This morning on a conference call, Bill Belichick describing the ways his team is trying to make up for lost time on the field. Keeping off of uh, you know, diagrams and things like that, there's you know, looking at our opponents, and there's stimulation, if you will, of you know how plays that they run, assignments, and so forth, and doing it in the um, format that we have available to us. Not ideal. I mean, this isn't what we would normally do, but uh, there is an opportunity to you know to cover things and get things taught and explain them, and have players ask questions, and you know have coaches get together and put together game plans. So with the game now being pushed back to Monday night, this creates some more flexibility for the team. It also creates a safer environment. And the two most important players for this Patriots team, Cam Newton and Stephon Gilmore, who've tested positive for COVID-19, this could also present an opportunity where they could have two negative tests and be prepared and ready to play Monday night. We'll continue to keep you tracked, keep you up to date with the latest information, both on air and online. But for now, that's the latest in Foxborough. Maury Hirsch-Gordon, Yanni, back to you.